What's up guys, this is the new Eero Pro 7 and I'm going to do a wireless backhaul test for you guys. So currently my Mac Mini is wirelessly connected to this guy. So this one's just connected to power. This is the ethernet cable that I'm going to connect to the Mac after I do the Wi-Fi speed test. So the point of this video is I wanna show you guys the difference in speeds when you connect something via Wi-Fi versus when you connect something via ethernet. Now, my Mac mini is next to a big speaker, so it's not gonna get the best Wi-Fi speeds right now. So the speeds it's getting right now are actually like kinda terrible. And um, this is the reason why uh, it's not good to put the router or the computer and stuff next, next to big speakers like this. So if I were to run a similar speed test on my phone, this would actually yield much better, uh, much, much better results as you guys are seeing right here. So, and this is not optimally placed or anything like that, but this one is wirelessly talking to the main router, which is about 25 feet away or so. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi right now. So Wi-Fi is completely off. And we're gonna close this, and I'm gonna open up the speed test once again. And the only difference now is that we are connecting a, a computer via ethernet to the Pro 7, and the Pro 7 is still wirelessly talking to the main guy. So now I'm gonna run a speed test, and you guys are gonna see there's a huge difference in speeds, huge, huge, massive. So this is one of the reasons why I like Wi-Fi 7, because you don't even necessarily need Wi-Fi 7 devices to get very fast speeds out of it. Uh, and my internet speeds at home are five gigabits per second upload and download. So I got like almost three gigabits down, 2.95 basically, and I got 1.5 up. Now, the internet speed test can vary during the times and everything like that, but this should be a good indicator that I actually got like some really good speeds. Now. I have another computer uh, in the other room and I'm going to do a local speed test. So what I did was I basically, um, this computer is going through that Eero, that Eero is jumping to the other Eero and that Eero is connected to the other computer. So this is a local speed test that I'm doing. So um, getting right, roughly around the same speeds like 2.9 and we typically get better upload speeds. It's usually a little more consistent. With the public speed test servers, usually the upload speeds aren't as good. Um, but this is one of the main reasons to get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system because if you literally connect something to a via Ethernet, it's gonna be really, really fast. And just for kicks, we'll run another speed test. And I'll show you guys that it's connected. Just in case someone thinks it's not connected, I'm gonna disconnect the cable right now. And then as you guys saw, so this is, this is the test that's running right now. As you guys saw, it basically, and then I'm gonna click go again. Um, and this is also another good example of why uh, it's not a good idea to put routers and or Wi-Fi devices next to really big electronics, especially speakers and stuff like that. Um, so the download speed wasn't as fast this time around and again uh, because it's a public speed test server it looks like the upload was right, right around the same and that's why I like the local speed test. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash that subscribe button. I have the full review coming up for the Pro 7. I just finished it for the Eero 7. Uh, so that video should be posted shortly. And um, in fact, I might even post this, that video before this one. Um, but yeah, this Pro 7 full video is coming up too. If you guys have questions or comments, and I will also be comparing this to the other Eros that I have as well, like the Max 7. And if you guys want, I can even compare it to the Pro 6C and even the 6 Plus. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.